Howdy, Jacob here. Today we're looking at WD40 company. When I talked to my engineering friends, they said that you need to lube up anything machine-wise, car-wise. You just spray on some WD40 and you're good. Funny little story, I guess. Not so funny, maybe. 383 million revenue in 2014, up to 537 million in 2023 in the household products industry. 3.5, 3.4, 3.5 market cap and enterprise value. We are seeing gross margins relatively flat and same with operating margins, but a very consistent business. We see that operating margins have really ranged from 16.6% to 19.9%. That's a pretty narrow range. The company is very good at being consistent, consistently uh, giving money to the shareholders through this increased dividend as well. And the return on invested capital has been going up and is pretty much averaging 20%. So very consistent, very good return on invested capital. 48 million cash on hand with 110 million long-term debt. That's about 50 net and they can pay for that in less than a year. So definitely no concern from that balance sheet. Not a whole lot of reinvestment back into the company though. We are seeing that their dividend is looking like it pays out on a five-year average basis, maybe 50, 50 to 60% of their five-year average free cash flow going out in aggregate towards dividends. A little bit of share repurchases, maybe 20 to 30 percent and then recently a little bit of buying debt paying down debt they haven't made a lot of acquisitions they haven't made a lot of reinvestments the company is just issuing um buying back buying back shares and then paying out a dividend which for a company um like this been around since 1953 likely not a lot not a lot of growth ahead of them that is a fair use of uh, capital allocation. You want the company, you don't necessarily want old companies to be making acquisitions since a lot of them are inefficient and are likely overpaying for them. And so for them to be giving money back to shareholders through buying back shares and issuing, uh, by buying back shares and issuing a dividend makes a lot of sense. And so for their, you know, share repurchases and dividends to add up to 70 to 80% of their free cash flow use, that's a pretty positive sign. So let's start making some assumptions here. I don't think this is going to be anything crazy. So I'm actually intrigued by this 50 PE and the fact that it's been, uh, you know, we're not looking at a crazy low year of margin or earnings or anything. So that's peculiar for the growth rate. But I think, you know, 3%, I don't know if they have much growth beyond infl uh, inflation here, to be honest. And then 15 P, I think that's fine. I'm, I'll go 16 actually. So this isn't necessarily a reason for Mark. Uh, I'm not necessarily putting a one. I mean, it's only 15 to 16 P, which might not seem like a lot, but my justification for that in my head was that I don't know if growth is really going to be that much better than the market. I don't know if they have a moat better than the market based on the fact that, um, you know, margins are roughly the same return invest capital, maybe a little bit higher. But I'm just I'm just putting consistency here with a slight premium due to the fact that people that like investors, shareholders love consistency. Like if a company made between, you know, 100 million and 120 million this year and increase that or decrease that within like five to 10 percent, um, you know, that's that's a very positive. That's a very positive business and one that shareholders really, really enjoy. And so I think I'd put the baby's premium just on the fact that people like consistency. Now, it's not much of a premium. I'm not throwing a 20p on here for a company with 3% growth. That doesn't make sense to me. That's not something that I would think is very appropriate in the long run. But I do think there should be a little bit of justification for the fact that they are very consistent. And with that consistency, let's go 14, 13, minus 1% of shares. That would be about $35 million dollars. Maybe half a percent. They haven't necessarily done that in the past. $35 million. So that's $17 million plus their stock raise compensation, $23 million. What I did there is I just took the, if you haven't watched the video, I have took the market cap, said what's 1% of that? It's about $35 million. What have they done historically paid for in repurchasing shares? We're looking like maybe averaging about $20, $20 million or so. And then I add back in their stock raise compensation. Um, and I think that half a percent seems reasonable for me for share purchases. The dividend, I think that they can increase that probably a little bit more, not much more, but 
the tiniest bit more than their revenue due to the fact that they're a well-established company. I don't think that it's unreasonable, and I wouldn't be scared if this company were paying out 70% of their free cash flow and a dividend. I think that that's pretty reasonable. So I think that 1.3% yield paying, you know, increasing that 4% seems reasonable. And we already went over why I think it was expensive, but we can see now it's definitely a bit expensive based on this valuation. I just don't put that much premium if there's not a lot of growth and there's not a lot of reinvestment back in the company. You have a 20 return on invested capital, 20%. That's fantastic. But if the company is not reinvesting back into themselves, you don't. they don't necessarily deserve a premium. Maybe a premium on the fact that they could likely, if they were to find reinvestments, get fantastic rates of return on them. But historically, this company has not done a whole lot of reinvestment. They've just been given the money back through share repurchases and dividends, and that doesn't deserve a premium to me. That's not giving the shareholder a huge bump in return due to the fact that they make money, but they don't necessarily reinvest at high rates. Even though historically they've had the capability to necessarily do so, they might likely just don't find those opportunities to get those returns. So hopefully you enjoy the video, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you.